you know, in your experience, what, how many of these, um, uh, of developing filmmakers forget about the, I guess, the human aspect of the job, which is providing for and caring for, for anyone, not just actors, yeah. but anyone on set, mm. feeding them, giving them adequate clothing. And, yeah. you know, um, we, we've talked before about filming in, in either remote locations or really cold locations mm. and the, the, the shoot not actually catering for that in regards to providing warm clothing in between takes. So, mm. Again, how important is that for for filmmakers to be aware of more than what just what they're just shooting? With low budget and no budget, actors are usually the last ones to get any compensation. They often have the same similar amount of education and dedication to their craft as the filmmakers. Um, it just seems to happen that way that the actors are the ones who they do a lot for free, especially with independent stuff. You're driving for miles, you're, you know, cutting back on your own work so you can participate in the film. You need to be ultra reliable because, you know, casting and then scheduling the shoot can take up a number of days or you have to be very flexible around these things. So I think the expectation when you are on set, and this goes for any crew or, or cast in a film, when they're doing something for free, you need to look after them. So you, you know, feed them. You at least need to have a budget for some catering. It doesn't have to be fancy. I mean, I've catered for films where I've made a massive big batch of soup and got a couple of breadsticks and everyone has had soup and, and breadsticks, you know. It depends on how long the shoots are. You need them to keep... The actors will often forget to drink water, especially if mm. they're in costume um, or they're in a certain mindset for a character. So there needs to be somebody just going around making sure they're hydrated, that they're warm, that they're comfortable, you know, to a certain extent. You can't go babying them, they're, they're full of grown people. But at the same time, providing them with the basic essentials to to be able to do their job properly. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Not too much to ask at all. No, uh, no, yeah. it's, it's not a lot to ask because a lot of actors are you know, in my experience, are very giving of their time. Yeah. And they want that project to be great yeah. for that filmmaker. Yeah. There's a little bit of self-motivation. You want good show, real material. But sometimes, you know, if you're not getting compensated, that little bit of show, real material will go a long way. So that's another thing that needs to be um, thought about and followed through, is that you give the footage to the actors. Because if you don't, you'll get a very bad reputation as somebody who does not give back when some people have given them so much and so much of their emotional and, you know, sort of, and their craft mm. that they've been learning for years. Yeah. Um, so, you know, follow through with what you say. If you're going to give them the footage, give them the footage. They shouldn't have to be chasing you for this. Yeah. If you were in it, make sure they're invited to the screening. Yeah. And they shouldn't be paying for their ticket Yeah. if they were, you know, one of the, the major roles. And another thing, thank them. It's not difficult. This is all common sense and manners. If someone's helped you out, you show them some gratitude. They don't expect money. They don't expect anything like that. But they expect it to be treated like a human being who mm. needs, you know, who has basic needs when they're working for... Often when you're on set, you could be working up to a 12-hour day. Yes. That's a lot of time out of your schedule and you need to be feeding these people. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely.